Danelle German with the National Cat Groomers Institute. I have been a feline exclusive groomer for nearly two decades. This is my specialty right here. Um, and I wanted to give you a few tips about shaving a cat down into what we call a lion cut. This guy um, has been bathed and blow dried and shaved with a 10 reverse blade, setting the lines here at all four legs. Um, at the elbow line here, front legs, and at just at the hawk here on the rear legs. I use a 10 blade only on cat skin. It is the safest blade to use. There is no need to use any other length of blade on a cat in reverse, starting at the rear of the cat, working forward over the torso while the cat is what I call its comfort position. This is pretty much the comfort position right here where a cat is lying on the table. This is where they're most comfortable. Once we start flipping a cat over, pulling the legs out into a full extension, uh, and just generally having the cat upside down working the underneath area, they tend to become a little more aggravated, some of them much more so than others. And so we want to minimize that as much as possible and then save it also for the end of the groom. So if we work in this area first to begin, we can minimize that time upside down. Um, in, in this position, it's possible to set the neckline here, work the chest, take care of the tail, all of that before then we begin to work the underneath of the cat. And there are a variety of methods for handling a cat to be able to get that underneath area. I do a lot of cat grooming on my lap while sitting on a grooming stool. I find that using my body, using my legs, using my left arm to be able to tuck a cat's upper body under is, is a great way to handle a cat, make a shy cat feel more secure, help control an aggressive cat that likes to to be a little bit combative. And so there are a whole number of techniques that can be used uh, to help with that process. I do very little grooming of a cat on the table. The only time I really have a cat on my table is for final comb out, nail trims, that sort of thing. Most of it is done on my lap. And you will note that there are different ways of lifting and raising a cat to be able to access these different areas. When shaving the rear legs, it's very important that they be in full extension. If this leg is bent up in any manner in the natural bend of a cat's leg, then we risk clipping, cutting the cat's skin. And that's where a lot of people, uh, he, they, they are under the assumption that a cat has extremely fragile skin. And it's not necessarily the case, it could be the case, but generally, the problem uh, is encountered when the cat has wrinkles or folds, and we catch those in a particularly a very wide blade. So using a 10 blade in reverse and making sure that that skin is always taut, pulled nice and taut, whether it's in this manner or on my lap, um, I'm stretching the leg out, whatever that is, even from the underside. In this position, I'm able to get a good pull taut on that skin on the belly area. It is okay to scruff a cat. This is how the mama cats carry their kittens around. They pick them up using their mouth, using their teeth, right here by the scruff of the neck, and lift right there. He's got his tongue out for us. Thank you. Um, and so we, we always want to make sure to support the lower um, portion of the cat, if, particularly if they're heavy. Um, we don't want to just lift them up by the scruff without any support under the rear end of the cat. But in this manner, we have access to the neck chest and other parts of the cat. Sometimes it is absolutely necessary that we have to scruff a cat because we are dealing with cats that are a bit fractious and they don't necessarily want to be groomed. If they're pelted and in really bad shape, they have been suffering for quite some time and now it's our job as groomers to remove all of that but the cat is already in a very bad mood about all of that and so it is oftentimes necessary to scruff a cat in order to be able to achieve what we need to do and and it, it, if it's done properly it is one of the most useful handling tools that we have at our disposal.